Today's Gospel, Friday, November 18, is taken from St. Luke, chapter 19, verses 45 to 48. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death. But they could find no way to accomplish their purpose because all the people were hanging on his words. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Sister Jeng Kasumbal. His Temple Whenever I attend face-to-face masses, it pains me to see churchgoers who do not come in their proper attire and decorum. People now attend mass wearing shorts, see-through blouses, and micro-minis. You'll see and hear children crying, shouting, or tinkering with gadgets. Worse, now you'll even hear barking dogs as people bring their pets to Mass. Gone were the days when people come to church in their Sunday's best. Now, we exhibit too much disrespect for the temple of God. If Jesus were to enter our churches today, Don't you think he will also get angry, just like in today's gospel? We give so much importance in dressing up and watching our etiquette in big and special locations, while we neglect what is more important, how we are in the temple and presence of God. Add to that, we neglect first and foremost our physical bodies. We eat too much, don't get enough rest and exercise. And given to vices, if you believe that the Holy Spirit lives in you, shouldn't you be taking care of His temple too? As we would always remind our family and friends, kung totoong mahal mo ang pamilya mo, mahalagaan mo ang sarili mo. Kapatid, mahal mo ba ang Diyos? Alagaan at respetuin din natin ang Kanyang templo. Let us pray. Lord, forgive me for the times that I have disrespected your holy temple. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.